Yes. Uh, we're going to get a quick time out of this here and we'll go back to it in a moment. There's breaking news here in New York. Uh, the mayor, Eric Adams, has been indicted on five counts. That indictment has now been unsealed. We'll get to CB Cotton in Lower Manhattan to get more on that breaking news. CB, what do you have? Hi, Bill. Good morning. Yeah, we're still going through this indictment, which is more than 50 pages long. But I can tell you right now, he faces five counts. I want to get right to those. Count one, conspiracy to commit wire fraud, federal program bribery, and to receive campaign contributions by foreign nationals. Count two, wire fraud. Count three, solicitation of a con contribution by a foreign national. Count four, another solicitation of a contribution by a foreign national. And count five, bribery. So federal investigators Investigators in this indictment that we're still pouring over say they found evidence that Adams, for nearly a decade, brokered his power by seeking and accepting improper, valuable benefits such as luxury international travel, including from wealthy foreign business people and at least one Turkish government official seeking to gain influence over Adams. Two federal pro federal prosecutors also allege Adams sought and accepted illegal campaign contributions in the form of straw donations and three investigators say he can say Adams compounded his gains from the straw contributions by using them to defraud New York City and steal public funds. Now there are a series of other allegations that we're still looking over and he's also indicted with a few co-conspirators. We're trying to get that information to our viewers but this all comes as he seeks re-election next year with a competitive competitive Democratic primary. His administration administration has really been thrown into this frenzy as at least six other people within his circle in recent weeks had their homes raided or devices seized and what we're told are separate investigations but again the latest here on scene is that New York City Mayor Eric Adams has been indicted in what is a federal corruption a scheme according to prosecutors within the Southern District of New York. We know that Mayor Adams has pledged his innocence saying repeatedly that he has done nothing wrong and overnight he released a videotape statement saying he has no plans to step down. Investigators have laid out this timeline in this indictment alleging that this conspiracy um, took place again for longer than a decade. A lot of allegations in here I'm seeing uh, mentions of four uh, Turkish nationals, other foreign officials. So we're still working our way through this. But this all came into the public view last November when FBI agents raided the homes of his chief campaign finance finance fundraiser and days later the mayor had his phone and iPad also seized and we know this summer he and several others tied to his election committee were served grand jury subpoenas all this leading up to this moment where he now faces five counts again that include bribery conspiracy to commit wire fraud solicitation of a contribution by a foreign national and again a lot more to come as we continue to pour over this federal indictment bill i want to send things back over to thank you thank you cb cotton lower manhattan thank you for that dana and carrie urban we dragged her back in she is fox news legal editor and good to have you here so now that you've had a chance to look over the charges a little bit more you're sense of, of how things stand now. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, and what's interesting is it appears that it started when, according to the federal government, of course, when Adams was elected as Brooklyn Borough President, he took all of these foreign trips, and they say, they claim that that's when he began building these relationships, which ended up leading to them donating to his mayoral campaign uh, when he ran, and he did this through this this thing called straw donations, which is mm -hmm. foreign money being funneled through people who say they're just these individual folks here in America, and they're actually not. And I think the really bad aspect of all of that was that he, they then submitted those donations at, through the, at, to this New York City matching program, and so New York City matched at 10, up to $10 million. So that's oh. where they're saying they defrauded basically New York City taxpayers because, one, he shouldn't have had this money from foreign governments in the first place con contributing to his campaign, and, two, then they used it to get an additional mm. $10 million from, from New York City to... Uh, you to know, bolster his campaign. campaign mm -hmm. Wow, oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So late last night, there was a report that crossed here in New York that apparently there was a request to build a Turkish consulate in Brooklyn. And the accusation that was leveled on the report is that the mayor worked to make sure that the construction happened where the New York Fire Department was hesitant to go forward with it. Why, we don't know. 
Um, but apparently the mayor put his foot on the gas or something. That's that's what the allegations suggest anyway. Yeah, and you know, when you read through this indictment, and I'm still reading through it, uh, it's a pretty strong allegation to say that the mayor of New York City was actively creating fake paper trails and the like, and that his, for instance, even his deputy, his assistant, when he was Brooklyn Borough President, was acting in his direction with all of these foreign governments and these relationships and the money coming in and then matching these campaign, uh, campaign yeah. funds in New York City. So. Uh, there's a lot here. <laughs> for those who think that it might be retaliation from the Biden administration for uh, Eric Adams being very frustrated and pushing back mm -hmm. against the administration about the migrant crisis, does that seem to you to have anything to do with this? Not looking through this indictment because it goes back so far. You know, it's, it's, this is years, years and years in the making. Now, look, that being said, New York City is an interesting place. And, you know, you have, one has to wonder what's going on in the New York City political machine to have even... Uh, lasered in, I should say, on Eric Adams like this. So there's always that open question of what's happening here in the backdrop of New York City. But looking through this indictment, this this began long mm -hmm. before any of the immigration so, stuff was going uh, Late on. last night, he put out a video, and he's going to fight it. Uh, I would expect him to do that, and I mm -hmm. assume that was the sense that you got from his words as well. Oh, for sure. I mean, he says it's all false, and he can prove why that is, and, and that's his right. And we have to see how he responds. These are still just allegations. They haven't been proved yet, and so DOJ has a pretty high burden to prove all of these things. But they have they bring some hefty sounding evidence into this, these charges. Well, it's a big job, uh, maybe one of the most difficult jobs in the country, you know, in terms of a, mm -hmm. being a mayor. And we'll see how he does here in New York with this going on in the background. Fascinating. Thank you for all yeah. the quick Thanks, work. Carrie. Thanks, Carrie. Good stuff. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much for that. We'll get you back to CB Cot in a moment downtown. Yeah. Um, the mayor's going to speak. Yep. Um, and it was interesting to see, like, you know, there, when you're under indictment, there's so much you have to do and mm -hmm. so much attention you have to pay to that. There's uh, calls from him, like from AOC, to resign. He says he won't do that, but we'll see how that turns out. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.